Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. One of our followers asked us this question. Can you factor x squared plus y squared? Well, if the domain is the set of real numbers, then we say x squared plus y squared is not factorable. However, if we solve this over the set of complex numbers, then we say that x squared plus y squared is factorable. And that is what we are going to accomplish in this video. So let's begin by recalling the difference of two squares. We know that a squared minus b squared is equal to the quantity a plus b times the quantity a minus b. Let us also recall that i is equal to the square root of negative 1 and i squared is equal to negative 1. Now, let's go back to the given problem, x squared plus y squared. We can write this as x squared minus the negative of y squared because negative times negative will result to this positive. This is just same as writing a negative one here. But what is the value of negative one? We said that i squared is equal to negative one. So we can replace this negative one with i squared to arrive at this. Now applying the power of a product, we can now write this as x squared minus the quantity i y raised to the second. Now it doesn't matter whether we write i first or y first, but when there are radicals, it's easier to write the imaginary unit i first so that you will not confuse it as being part of the radicon. But here, there is no problem. You can interchange i and y. Now, this form is exactly the form of the difference of two squares where our a is x and our b is i, y. And this is now in the form a squared minus b squared. So we can now apply this identity. So that is equal to the quantity a plus b, where our a is x and b is i, y times the quantity a minus b, where our a is x and our b is i, y. So we have here minus i, y. And this is now the factored form of x squared plus y squared over the set of complex numbers. Now to check if this is correct, we can perform the multiplication. So multiply the quantity x plus i, y times the quantity x minus i, y. So applying the FOIL method, the first times the first resulted to x squared. The outer times the outer is equal to negative i x y. The inner times the inner is positive i x y. And the last times the last is negative i squared y squared. But we know that i squared is equal to negative 1, so we can replace this with negative 1. And also, minus i x y plus i x y will result to 0. So this part here is negative 1, and therefore, Negative times negative will give us positive. So we have x squared plus y squared equals this product of these two binomials, which are the factored form of x squared plus y squared. So for our answer to our follower, the answer is x squared plus y squared is factorable over the set of complex numbers. And its factors are the quantity x plus i y, times the quantity x minus i, y. However, over the set of real numbers, x squared plus y squared is not factorable. So thank you very much. This is Landa Assistant, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.